Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Captain Shack here, and welcome to another mod library collection for space engineers. Every month or so, I do a, a mod spotlight on a collection of mods that kind of go under a theme. This one is firepower. Yeah, like look at the super crazy Vulcan cannon-esque weapon behind me. Now this is a, one of my light assault interceptor fighters in the back here that I designed a couple days ago. And I slapped on a couple Gretchen cannons. Now these, this mod here was designed by, let's see, I'm paperwork here, Fancy Fez. His response in the description was, somebody complained about his other weapon being OP, so he designed these. Well played, sir. Well played. These things are insane. This is the kind of weapon like the uh, the A-10 uh, Warthog where you design your, your aircraft or your spacecraft around the cannon itself because they're huge. Let's jump on in here and we'll give her a go. This is my little firing range. This is heavy armor block that I'm firing at, mind you. Oh, she's so heavy now. Oh, crap. All right, well, now we'll test one cannon. See the damage that she does. Yeah, you're gonna be burning through ammo on this sucker. The animation is really nice too. She actually spins. She looks damn good. I'm pretty sure you can color it. Let's uh, let's test it first here. Yep, you totally can color it. Make it look good. Slap one of these in the middle of your ship. Maybe put it on a on a on a rotor so you can make it into a turret. Make a pretty good point defense weapon. Definitely cool. So here is the rest of the firing range. This is what we're gonna be going through. We've got cannons of all kinds of millimeter. We've got defensive cannons, assault cannons, and of course, oh man, look at this thing. This is probably the largest turreted weapon in the game right now that somebody has produced. Now it's still in development. It's only been out for a few days, but it is sick. This is the main battleship cannon. We're gonna go from small to large, so we will get to this one in a moment. First things first, we're gonna be looking at the 28 millimeter defensive gun by OKIM. I got a couple of color variations so you guys can check out, like the light pink cannon. Uh, it's a quad barrel, not too shabby. A uh, capable weapon of taking out light. I think light fighters would be the way I'd go with this. Uh, and she's small, which I really like. Hopefully the devs will open it up so we can modify the bounding boxes on turrets because there's a, like a minimum size, it seems, and they're huge right now. So it makes it really hard to place uh, where you want to place them. We'll fire it once. It can fire one round at a time, or we can control her, and she does have a range of up to 900 meters, which is a bit better than the normal turrets, which I think its minimum range is uh, 700. Let's give them a go. Very satisfying fire rate, very satisfying sound effect. Reminds me of a World War II anti-aircraft like German battery. I really dig this. This is the kind of weapon that I'd have on my ship just to defend against light fighters, incoming missiles, and whatnot. Pretty cool. All right, let's move on down the line. We got a lot of weapons to check out. The next cannon jump on in. Let's, let's take a walk around. We've got a couple of variations of the colors. Of course, you can color it any color you want. These are quad cannon as well, but we got a much larger round that we're going to be using in this one. So jump in here. This is the 50 millimeter quad turret. We'll shoot once. A little bit basier weapon. I find that there's been some issues with mod authors where they're not able to find weapon sounds that really go with it. I think these match really well. Here we go. She does fire in uh, four round bursts and she has to reload. She has like a second and a half reload time. A little bit more damage and I think she's got a range of up to 900 meters. She's got a range up to a thousand meters. So pretty cool. Probably like this is your cruiser weapon. We'll go over there. We'll take a look at how much damage we're doing. There you go. We just pierced the hull on some light armor. The blue blocks of course are the heavy armor. Uh, we'll go ahead and give it a shot on one of those. All right, that's two blasts, eight rounds. Ugh. Let's go check out what kind of damage we did. I love how these look though, right? They look really good. That's the kind of weapon that I'd have inside my ship. And I'm messing around with this idea where you'd like open it up and then deploy the weapon as it comes out. Not bad though, good armor penetration. That was eight rounds and it fires relatively fast. Pretty accurate too. The weapon speed seemed uh, quick, like the actual velocity of the round itself. So let's get up to the, uh, the higher weapon. Now we're talking battleship cannons, right? We're talking, this is um, frigate cruiser sized cannon. Gonna do some serious damage with it. I think this is the 70, 76 millimeter assault cannon. Here she is. All right, toggle block on. She wants. Toggle block on. She wants. There she goes. Let's control her. Weapon test. Let's see right this one. 
Boom, there you go, 76 millimeter round. So not bad. This could be your uh, your second line of guns on a battleship. This could be your primary weapons on a frigate or a cruiser. Slow fire rate, good damage though. Like one round will actually pierce light armor, it seems like. Whereas uh, a couple of rounds, you'll probably be piercing the heavy. Let's find out. Let's try shooting this one. Yep, we got armor dent. Fire again. Uh, still no penetration. Fire again. Wow. Heavy armor is actually able to really hold up against it. That's good though, that's what you want. You don't want to be piercing hulls in one shot. I think that'd be a little OP. Let's look at the range, 800 millimeter range on this one, and of course you've got the uh, all the options. So that's the 76 millimeter cannon, pretty decent sound effect. I'm looking forward to slapping a bunch of these on. Uh, look for a follow-up video on this where I actually have a, uh, a two-ship fleet battle. So now we're moving on to another mod author. So all those other ones that you just saw, the uh, the 28 mil or the 23 millimeter, the 76 millimeter, and the 50 millimeter with our LKIM. Uh, this is Max Pax. Now he's made some really interesting cannons. We've all been wanting some heavy guns, and these probably have some of the nicest models that we've seen yet. I love the detail. Yes, they are colorable. They just look so good. The issue that he's been having is uh, getting a sound effect that really works with it. Now he's updated these multiple times since last I tested them, so this will be a first test for me. Let's jump on the Battleship Cannon Mark One. Power is on. Shoot once. Ooh, he has changed the sound effect. 800 meter range. Let's control her and let's see what kind of damage we can do to a light block. Here we go. Oh, it's got a long reload time on this. There she goes. There's the shot. Not very accurate. Notice where the round went. Let's try the corner here. It actually shoots a modified rocket. Is what it seems like it does. Fire out there. Not super accurate, but oh, listen to that sound. It sounds like a battleship cannon. I love it. Let's try some heavy armor. No penetration. Try again. Waiting for the reload. Boom. Still no penetration. Damn. Not bad. Not bad. I like it. Now I'm really excited to try the heavier gun. So there's your main battleship cannon. This is for like a normal battleship, right? Like we'd put that on the... Um, that would look too bad on the Nostromo, actually. So let's get into the big gun. This is what everybody's waiting for. This is also colorable. Three barrels. I have yet to fire this thing. This is going to be a first experience for me as well. This is the Mark III main battle cannon. So I would say centerpiece of my ship. Let's go ahead and turn on the power. Uh, she does have idle movement, AI control, all that jazz. Let's go ahead and shoot once. That's the wrong one. That's not the Mark III. Where's the Mark III? There she is. Power on. She wants. What the hell was that? All right, let's take the gun. This is the turd radius, by the way. It's super slow, understandably slow, though. We're gonna lock onto this heavy armor, Blake, and see what we can do. Waiting for the reload. There she goes. So she's using, like, modified torpedoes, it seems like. The sound effect's a little strange, but I kinda dig it. It's got this, uh, this whoosh. Let's see if I can fire again. You can see the fire rate. Not super fast. Uh, the damage is good, though. I mean, we're penetrating. Not bad at all. Let's fire this one. Eh. Get the cannon over there. Reloading. There she goes. I do like that it comes from each one of them. Now, I would really love to see as soon as the engine allows it. He said in the description that right now the engine doesn't allow for the animation of the weapon. Uh, it doesn't have, like, a recoil animation. And I'd like to see a little bit bassier of a sound. But I got to give mad credit this looks amazing. It's probably one of the best looking guns in the game right now. It's fantastic. Really is. Both of them are. Both of them are. All right, guys. That is weaponry right now in Space Engineers. If you're looking forward to playing with some of these guns, let me know in the comments below what you plan on making with them. Uh, I want to do some type of, like, fleet fight uh, with these. So maybe two ships just pounding each other. Maybe I'll get Veil for it. And you guys can see what these look like in combat. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel for more gaming goodness, and as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.